Hey what is up mortals it is here. And before we get into today's video, there is something I'd like to say. I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time. So if you're interested go into the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Where we last left off the USJ attack had occurred and the students had been split up by the villains to draw out All Might in order to kill him. This plan managed to work at first. But due to their over-reliance on their so-called ultimate weapon Namu and the symbiote Riot, the students were able to easily beat the weaker villains and were also saved by the stronger members of the League of Villains by All Might, who had beaten Riot by temporarily being assisted by Venom. Three days have passed since then and the students have returned to class after a three-day break because of the attack. This was fortunate however because Midoriya actually hadn't been feeling well ever since the attack. Well not Midoriya specifically, but rather his symbiotic partner. This had been going on for the past few days. The creature's bad state causing Midoriya to constantly feel nauseous and having strange cravings for foods he usually didn't eat together, like tater tots and chocolate, or deep-fried lobster and a chocolate milkshake. Right now he was walking to class and discussing this with the symbiote, all the while Ida was trying to get everyone to take their seats and looking stupid while doing it. Izuku. Okay Venom, this is getting old, what the heck is going on with us? Venom, hard to say. Could be one thing, could be another. Izuku, well, what are some things you can think of? Venom, two things mainly. Either I'm just having a hard time adjusting to this planet's atmosphere, or I'm on the verge of spawning an offspring. The second theory seemed to surprise. Gross out and intrigue Midoriya all at the same time as he entered class and sat down. Izuku, wait. So you can have baby symbiotes? How? Venom. Symbiotes reproduce asexually. Once every ten years. When I bonded to you I was around a year away from having to spawn again. But something caused that to change after I bonded to All Might. Izuku, really? How? Venom. I'm not sure. Anyway. Symbiote offspring often start off as a blank slate copy with zero capabilities and gains them as it either adapts or finds a host, which is also important. Newborn symbiotes need to find a host as soon as they're spawned or they'll die. Izuku. Then if we do spawn a new one we'll have to make sure it gets a host soon. Venom, exactly. Right at that moment Mr. Aizawa walked in. He had bandages wrapped around his face and his arms were in two casts and slings. He also looked more tired than usual. Aizawa. Alright everyone settle down and take a seat, class is starting. Sayu, Ribbit, Mr. Aizawa. What are you doing here, shouldn't you be recovering? Aizawa. When you're a hero you can't take holidays just because of a few injuries. Now today we have something very important to talk about today. Everyone was tense now because when the teacher usually said that, it usually meant that there'd be a test of some kind, which had everyone on edge. Aizawa. The UA Sports Festival is coming up. Everyone erupted into a full-on cheer as they heard this great news. Kirishima. All right, let's go kick some A. Taminari. Hold up, are you sure this is a good idea? The students all showed the same concerns about having the sports festival and just like in canon Aizawa explains just why it's so important and afterwards everyone then goes to lunch. Where Yuraka explains her motivations for becoming a hero just like in canon. I would like to say that we've got a second and third channel called Anime Deep Dive and Anime Theory. Anime Deep Dive is a channel based on a variety of anime lore. An anime theory focuses on theories from plausible to way out there. If you are interested in content like this, make sure you click the icon on the top right corner or check the description below for a link to the channel. All Might also asks Midoriya to join him for lunch. Like in canon because he had some questions to ask the boy. Midoriya walks into the lounge with the number one hero and sits down nervously. Venom, why are you so nervous? Izuku. I'm nervous because I don't know if he knows about you or not. All Might, now young Midoriya. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Izuku, assure All Might. What about? All Might, your quirk. You were able to temporarily pass it on to me and it also spoke, I'd like to know why that is. Izuku was hesitant for a moment but All Might reassured him that any secrets he shared would be kept. Izuku, you okay with me telling him? Venom, as long as he doesn't say anything, sure. Izuku. Okay, All Might, it's kinda like this. He then goes in to explain everything that he's learned and knows about Venom and the symbiotes so far. Everything including how they were found by the Life Foundation and how they originally came from space. Even the weaknesses symbiotes apparently had, but they didn't mention the possibility of them being on the verge of spawning. However, seeing it as too sensitive a subject to mention at the moment, All Might took this rather well and then turned serious. All Might. 
I will keep your secret young Midoriya, but from now on, promise me that you and young Venom will be careful. Understand, Izuku, yes sir. Right at that moment All Might suddenly had to revert to his true form, which shocked Midoriya and intrigues Venom. The symbiote saying that it would explain why he felt so weak when he had latched onto him previously during the USJ. The hero then explained to the two about his injuries. The battle he had fought over five years ago and how Venom's regeneration actually helped him recover a great deal. All but one of these three things caught Izuku completely off guard. Izuku and Venom then leave after All Might tells him to please try and keep what he had told him a secret. Which the two agree to do out of respect for their mentor's wishes. The day goes on just like in canon with class 1 degrees Celsius and B. And so does the two week time skip. But unbeknownst to Izuku and Venom, some lingering effects of All Might's power was affecting both Venom and the spawning of the unborn symbiote inside it. Skip ahead to the sports festival and everyone is getting ready to start. Then Todoroki approaches Midoriya just like in canon. Shoto. I'll be looking forward to beating you, Midoriya. Izuku. We'll see about that Todoroki. The first event's results become the same as in canon. With Izuku and Venom using his bulkier form to demolish their way through the robots by using the extra strength enhancement Venom somehow got from All Might during the USJ for the first time, demolishing two Zero robots in the process and use their more agile modes to get through the minefields. And the cavalry battle also goes similar as in canon with Izuku being on a team with Yuraka and Hatsum. But thanks to Venom being able to permanently copy Hatsum's builds, so even as one is broken by Minta's balls, Izuku is able to make a pseudo-copy to replace it. Yuraka also gets a bit of a quirk boost as Izuku has Venom latch onto her temporarily, using this to their advantage. They are able to, to avoid Todoroki's attacks to try and immobilize them, which then allows them to end the match with their 10 million points still intact. After this defeat Todoroki then pulls Izuku to the side and unlike in canon. Instead asks Midoriya about his suspicion that his quirk seems like it's very odd, and seems very different than any transformation type quirk he's seen. Especially since it was able to be temporarily transferred to All Might like in the USJ. This leaves Izuku to give him a sort of runaround about how Venom works to try and throw him off the scent. Though unlike in canon, it's unclear if Todoroki is convinced. After this Izuku feels rather sick to his stomach. Izuku, what's going on? Venom, the other symbiote. It's almost ready to spawn. Izuku, oh geez. This isn't good. The tournament matches were up next. And Izuku's match against Shinso goes very differently than it was in canon. For example, instead of Izuku activating one for all like in canon to break his fingers, Venom instead takes temporary control of his body so he doesn't go out of bounds and forcibly breaks his fingers and snap out of Shinso's control. He then beats Shinso by healing his fingers and whipping him back to the edge of the arena with a set of black tendrils and then shoulder bashing him out of bounds out of bounds and into the adjacent wall, causing a crater in the process. The rest of the matches go about the same as in canon, except for Yuraka vs. Bakugo. In this match Yuraka is still feeling the effects of Venom's strength boost and actually does get to see her plan to make Bakugo float work, but due to the blonde's experience with fighting in midair. This tactic did more harm than good, and Bakugo is able to deliver a decisive blow to Yuraka that knocks her unconscious instantly. Another difference would be Todoroki's fight against Siro. Because instead of being seething with anger towards his dad after their talk he would be too preoccupied with what Izuku had told him about his powers, and just ignore his dad instead. Making him a bit more level-headed, but also very distracted. So much so that Siro's tape attack would actually almost succeed. But Todoroki's reaction time would still be enough to just barely avoid being sent out of bounds and send an ice blast big enough to make Siro want to jump back and accidentally fall out of bounds, which would make Todoroki claim victory. Albeit with a brief moment of trouble. This would cause Todoroki to decide to put his curiosity towards Izuku on the back burner. At least for the time being. The next few matches were the quarter-finals, and during the first match though, Izuku suddenly feels the need to throw up and suddenly upchucks all over the stadium. White and black sludge pouring from his mouth as it gathers into a puddle and rises. Izuku stumbles and falls as the fluid rears up and looks at Shoto. Venom, it's the newborn symbiote. Izuku, oh no. Todoroki look out. It's too late though. The new symbiote had already lunged at Todoroki and started to bond with him, turning him into a creature with the same build and height as All Might with white skin with a black face. And patterns, bulky clawed arms, and an orange mouth and orange eyes. An icy mist flowed from its mouth as it breathed and ice crystals gathered on its left side as the ground turned to frost under its feet and it's just standing there cracked the concrete as if it were cheap glass. Shoto. 
symbiote, we dot 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 or dot 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 a nti venom, izuku, a venom, venom, yes, izuku, mask, venom, copy, venom then coated izuku as they became their bulky form and hissed at the new pair of human and symbiote who in turn hissed at the other two before they lunged at them with the intention to tear them apart. The former two stood ready. It was a battle of the symbiotes now, and neither Izuku or Venom knew who would be coming out on top. Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now there are a few more things that I'd like to go over. Before the video ends, firstly, I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time. So if you're interested go into the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Secondly, I'd like to thank our $5 plus Patreon supporters for helping to fund these videos. Lastly on behalf of We The Celestials I'd like to thank the writer for this video, as well as the editor for this video. Their details will be in the descript. If you're a voice actor, editor or writer, or you're interested in becoming one of those, go to the Discord that is in the description of this video and hit up the head of one of those areas. We're always looking for members to join us. That's it from us for today's video. So thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested and hit that like button if you like the video. Until next time, peace out mortals, have an amazing day.